Hi, welcome back. Um, today we're doing another Star Wars review. It's been a while since I've done Star Wars and uh, thought I'd do a few. So today we're doing uh, one of the, the video game characters. I think I think one of them has a gaming grade tag now, but I'm not positive. Um, I, I'm not really a box collector, so I don't keep up with the, the different tags. But he did come from a video game. Uh, we have Revan and Darth Revan. And yes, Revan, I know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Revan. Um, so, uh, when I first found out about Darth Revan, um, this buddy of mine uh, gave me a, uh, a Nintendo DS, uh, one of the first ones when they were still pretty big and brand new. And uh, he had actually gotten a second one. Um, it was it was pretty expensive little handheld game system at the time, so uh, I'm like, look, you know, let me get you something, and we'll we'll trade you for it. Um, because honestly, it was you know like a hundred hundred fifty dollar game system. Uh, <laughs> he just didn't give it to me, and I felt really bad. He's like, well, call me Darth Revan, Darth Malak figure, and this was when the uh, the thirtieth anniversary stuff was still coming out. There were like two thousand. 2006, uh, maybe possibly 2007, um, but I, I picked up a Darth Revan and Darth Malak off eBay. They were like 20 bucks a piece, spent 40 bucks on it. And he was happy, I was happy. Um, had no idea who it was. I'm like, well, Revan looks kind of cool, um, but at that point, I didn't have an Xbox and I don't game on PC. I, I haven't since high school. Um, it's the only way to play some of the games. Um, so I had never played Knights of the Old Republic. Um, I started playing it about two years ago when uh, my Wii U finally died and I broke down and got an Xbox One. Um, it's, it is a great game. Uh, there are not a whole lot of Star Wars role-playing games, um, but Knights of the Old Republic 1 was fantastic. 2 was a pretty good game, but it's really glitchy. Um, if you've never played either of them, you know, they're, they're available on Xbox. Um, they're doing a remake of Knights of the Old Republic 1 uh, in the next year or two. They've already announced it. Uh, it comes out on the PlayStation 4. I believe it's available for the Switch and PC also. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a straight port or if it's going to be a remaster, but honestly, it was a great game. Um, it doesn't take too long. It's, it, it takes maybe 12, 14 hours to complete. I've never done like a speed run through. I, I enjoy taking my time doing the different uh, missions and completing everybody's stories. But that's where he uh, he came from. So uh, originally the first one they released when uh, he came out for the Black Series was Darth Revan. Um, used to be a Jedi Knight during the, uh, the Mandalorian Wars. Uh, 4,000 years before the uh, the Age of the Empire and the Battle of Yavin and everything. Um, but this is uh, Darth Revan. He comes with both his Jedi Saber and his uh, red-bladed Sith Light Saber. Um, now, it did come out the year after Attack of the Clones, so uh, Mace Windu isn't the only one with the Purple Saber anymore. Ha-ha! Um, it, it's kind of fitting. Um, I really like the, the purple saber. Uh, the red one's alright. He, he's a Sith Lord. I get it. Um, I like the, the outfit. Uh, the golds and the coppers and the uh, there's a little gold on the ring. The copper uh, wristbands and gauntlets. Uh, the copper on the chest. And then I, I, I do wish that the, the hood came off because I love the mask. The, bat, the mask reminds me so much of, of Boba Fett, which is obviously my favorite character I've mentioned before. I've done several Boba Fett reviews on things. Um, but honestly, that that's what struck me first, and then I played the game. Um, so, he also has his uh, capes. Now, Darth Revan's been through a lot of battles, so his, his, uh, his cape and his skirts are all... Uh, you know, jagged and shredded and they have holes in them. And honestly, uh, when I first saw them, I'm like, wow, that, that thing's, uh, something happened to it. And I started looking around and 
checking a couple other people's out. No, they're they're all the same way. It's uh, it's meant to look that way. Um, it, it gives him a nice touch though for for all the battles that he was in and. Um, Really, I, I like the figure a lot. He's got the the regular articulation you're used to with the the hinged shoulders and the uh, double jointed elbows, the hinged wrists. Um, or I'm sorry, ball jointed wrists. I don't think the wrists are hinged. Yeah, they they don't bend in and out. Um, the head is really really non movable. The the hood mold just keeps it from doing so. You have to turn the entire torso. He has a little bit of an ab crunch, but you basically have to turn the torso to get him to look. The head is completely immobile. Um, he's got the, the regular articulation for the hips uh, with the swivel and the, the butterfly joints, but um, the, the skirt uh, keeps it from getting the full range. It really does kind of hinder the movement. He's got the, the double jointed knees. You can see um, he's also got these really great silver looking boots, uh, but he's got the double jointed knees, the, the rocker and the ball joint on the ankles. All in all, solid figure. A um, little disappointed that the head movement doesn't work. A little disappointed that the, uh, the hood doesn't come off. But, you know, uh, it was one of the, uh, the earlier, not, not the first, you know, five or six waves, but fairly earlier figures. They were still... I think he was like 64 or something. Um, now they're up well over 120, I think, or so. Um, they, they, they've been going at it for a while, and then they stopped numbering them because they started going with the, uh, the card backs, the uh, New Hope, um, Empire Strikes Back, I, I believe Return of the Jedi are starting to come out, um, or, or will, not next year, but the year after. Um, so they may still continue doing uh, Empire stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen them in the stores in probably about a year at this point. Um, actually, I take that back. There's usually a Zori Bliss and a Jenna or Jetta or whatever her name is. Anyhow, that was that was Darth Revan, and they currently have him uh, for sale on the archive card back. Um, same figure, just different box, so if you take them out or you just need a Darth Re Revan, really great figure to pick up. Um, then we have Jedi Revan. Um, this is, I believe, Revan before he became Darth Revan. Or, you know, depending on how much you follow the story, there, there may be another couple of alternatives. Um, so they changed the gold on this figure, especially that big loop for uh, silver, and the, the coppers are a bit more uh, dark, almost uh, you know like a newer copper. Uh, the face mask is still the same. It is the exact same figure with the exact same articulation and the exact same problems. Uh, the head does not move. It's because the, the whole headpiece covers up even his shoulders. Um, Again, you, you would basically have to take it off and make a new cloth headpiece or something because you can actually turn the mask in here. Um, it's just that the head itself doesn't turn and it's really kind of hard and I don't want to chip the paint. I don't turn my nails very often. Um, now this one only came with one saber so I think it's before because afterwards I think he would have kept the other possibly ended up with two uh, purple sabers or maybe a, a purple and a white or something. Um, I would suspect probably a purple and a white. So this is uh, the earlier version. Um, I, I've never seen media with the earlier version. I don't know if it exists and I just haven't found it yet. Um, I didn't start reading the Knights of the Old Republic comics until earlier this year after I'd played the game for a year and a half and figured out what fun it was and how much I'd been missing out because it really was a great game. But Darth Re Revan is easily uh, one, one of my favorite figures. He became a favorite very quickly. Uh, both the color scheme, the resemblance to Boba Fett, although he lived 4,000 years beforehand, so it's unlikely this, they're the same person. Um, 
Anyhow, what do you what did you think about Darth Revan? Do you like him? Don't like him? Ever heard of him before? Never heard of him before? If you haven't, please check out the uh, the Knights of the Old Republic game. I promise you will not be disappointed. It is a great game. Um, anyhow, I'm having a problem getting him to stand, and I can't quite figure it out. It's it's a balance issue. Um, it just take me a minute and a little less to you know. I gotta get the knees bent just right for him, otherwise he pivots weird. Alright, uh, Revan, Darth Revan. Great figures, really like Darth, really like the Darth Revan. Um, anyhow, you all have a good day, thank you for joining me.